God has been speaking to our hearts from Monday. And we bless the name of the Lord. Thank you for your availability. Thank you for your commitment. Thank you for your sacrifice. And thank you even for your giving. We bless the name of the Lord because of what you have done. What you have done is not in vain. There is always a reward from Jehovah. For another four, four days. So, so you can see how they have sacrificed. And so we don't take for granted. When you see a man of God, and when you hear that there's a man of God coming in our city, let's not take for granted. Let us reveal ourselves because even that pastor has availed himself and sacrificed many things. Are we together? We also thank God for Susan. Susan, come. Na, na, na pasi. Let us appreciate these people. These are our missionaries to Saburu. Saburu. And uh, we want to send them there with uh, a very big lorry of our of stars, food, shakura. Can, can, you, can you just say uh, what you need? Within one second, with, with the pastor. Okay. Uh, praise God. Amen. We need sugar, unga, ugari, unga, chapati. Kira kitu da kulangwa, mchele, maragwe, mahindi, dengu, jahe, zoo, marigo, gefiriti, suka, na sube, na nyavrao da vido. Na sanitary towels, eh? Yes, yes, na pampa, kui na heho. Mbuwe imeanza uko, tumeambiwa leo. Kwa hivyo, na mabufefia, na matris. Tunalala kwa manyata, hakuna vitanda. Kama uko na matris, utumi, Pastor Josh, tusaidia, tulalia, na tuibariki uko. Amen. We shall also have three days of revival, and also door-to-door evangelism. So we need your prayers. Uh, because uh, it is also a spiritual battle uh, but uh, with the God all things are possible yeah, thank you you, you know it's not in vain what are you doing? what are you doing? what are you doing? Tulikuwa tunaombi na ye, mama ya huyo. Alikuwa batu saliku, mama yake ya kia yudhi na mini kia yudhi. Tulikuwa tunapirishi ni mama yake huyo. Amu kupika makuwa vii. No, you should appreciate. Kwa sababu, hini kusama ya kwamba, tumetoka mbali. Kama tulikuwa tunaombi na huyo mama yake. Na sasa tunaombi na sasa na ye. What is that telling you? What is that telling you? Ayi, simu seme. Huh? We have come from and we are going far. So you need to pray for us more. That God will give us more grace. That you are going to be in our house. Because you are going to be in our house. 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 At a Saturday, at a Friday, at a Monday, at a Elte. We have come from a wedding in Nairobi. Ya kijana ya pastor wetu. Wengu wedi muna mjua gekwa. Hana kujaka pa mara mingi. Sani yake amewa. Tumeda pari ya Rusi. Tumeingia sani. So any time, wedding can be done. Ya ukia mwasa kwa mwambi. Any time, any day. Can be a wedding day. We thank God for Pastor Ruth. She's in the house. Pastor Jennifer is in the house. Na kila moja wanyu, kila moja wanyu, the pastor. Ya ukia masama mbiwe, the pastor. Hallelujah. Let us appreciate pastor choose you to come and bring the words of God to us. Pia, officially, nikita kumukaribisha arusi ya huyu on Saturday. Saturday inakuja. Pane Deliver Church. 
anaoa ni kwa ni kwa Shall we appreciate our baba na mama in the house thank you so so much uh, bishop namaham for the chani mass is called uh, enabled you to travel to nairobi and back home while you are away we had a nice meeting here <laughs> praise the lord Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Shall we lift our hands and bless our parents? Tell them you are blessed. Amen. Yes, I would like us to continue. And so far, so good. And I would like us to just go and practice the word that we have received. Mana tumesema, we are on a journey. And in this journey, we need to be focused where we are going. In every journey, there is a route that you are following. And in that route, you are focused unto your destiny. And to us as Christians, we know where we are going. We know where we have come from. And we know where we are going. And on this journey, you need also to understand there are a lot of obstacles on the way. Because since the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of God has suffered violence, and the violence shall take it by force. So we've been learning on great catch through loyalty, because we came to realize that there are so very scarce loyal people in this generation that we are in, because the adversary is trying to snatch people and take them to his side, but we need to be steadfast in our work with God. That is the first characteristic that we saw of a, of a loyal person. You need to be willing to work with God as Enoch, as Noah. They also worked with God and they were no more. We need also to be able to be willing to worship God. And as we have gathered to come and worship like this, the Bible tells us not to forsake the coming together of brethren as it is in the habit of some. Fellowship is what God values. He wants fellowship because he called us into this fellowship of his son, Jesus Christ. And he commanded us to be of one mind and of one heart. Let us value worship in the house of God. And number three, we saw that we need to be willing to witness to others. Because that is the mission of the church. That is something that glorifies God. Let us reach out to other people who have not come to the house of God. Those who have not known Jesus, let us share the goodness of the Lord to other people. Let us share that which you have received. And we said salvation is not confidential. It should be something that can be seen by others so that they can also choose to follow this Jesus. Number three, we said number four. And today we share that one. We need always to work in godly conviction because the courtly people as cars, but as we need to understand that we need to have that conviction that I am a courtly man, I am a God fearing man, because the whole duty of a man is to fear God. Let us fear this God and let us love this God and reserve it. The Bible says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. As we walk in godliness, we shall just be like God. As we walk in godliness, we make a difference in this life. And we consider Psalms chapter 1, verses 1, 2, up to 3, whereby the Bible says, Blessed is the man. Blessed is the man who never walk in the counsel of the wicked, nor sit in the seat of mockers, or stand in the way of sinners. Bible is just warning us not to go in that way. We have a way, and that way is one. The way is Jesus. We are on that way of the Lord, and we are following that way. Because Jesus introduced himself and said, I am the way, I am the fruit, and I am the life. No one comes to the Father except through him. This is a sure way back to the Father. I've always said that one time we were not here on earth. You need to ask yourself, where was I when I was not in this earth? So that you may get to understand that you are also here temporarily, and one day you will not be here. 
You need to ask yourself another question. When I will not be here, where will I be? Because there is a destiny. Heaven is real. Hell also is real. As we can be able to study from the word of God. You need to understand we are here temporarily and we are here on assignment because our God has ordained us to be where we are and he has predestined the days we need to live here on earth and fulfill the purposes to why you are here on earth. And that purpose is just to spread the gospel of the kingdom of our Father. And you have a responsibility as a child of God. Take up that responsibility. Fulfill it because we know that we shall be accountable one day. May our God bless our lives. Bible says, blessed is he who never walk in the counsel of the wicked. Let us not entertain even those perpetrators of peace. Let us not entertain evil in our lives. Let us not entertain compromise of sin in our lives. Let us just believe in this God. For the Bible says, you should have a delight of meditating on this word. This word is what can make you to walk in godliness. That godly conviction is the word that you know. We studied in the morning and we understood that the word of God is all we need as Christians. Is all you need as a loyal person. You need this word because the Bible says a man does not live on bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of the Father. We live by this word. We walk by this word. This is our roadmap. This is our constitution. And we need always to hide in our hearts as the psalmist in Psalms 119, verses 9 and verses 11, the devil says, How can a young man keep his ways pure? And he said, I have hidden your word in my heart, so that I may not sin against you. It is the word that you hide in your heart that can benefit your life. It is the word that you hide in your heart that can eliminate even ignorance in your life. Because the Bible says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. When you have God's word, it is the light that can shed light even in your dark areas in your life. May God help us so that we may be able to practice this word, meditate on this word, and you'll be able to benefit from this word. As God had told Joshua, do not let this word of the Lord depart from your mouth. Meditate on it day and night. He said so that you may be able to prosper and have a good success. There is a good success when you embrace this word. There is a good success when you learn to walk by this word. And we saw about five benefits of the word of God. The benefit number one that we saw in the afternoon is that this word is creative. Psalms 107 verses 20, the Bible says, And he sent this word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. This word is, has the creative power. And number two, we saw also this word can be able to bring spiritual growth in our lives. We saw it in 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 2. We need to feed on this word so that we may mature Christians so that we shall not be tossed here and there by the wave of wrong doctrines that comes across. We know there are wrong doctrines that are going around all over the world. But when you have the word of God, you will not be tossed here and there. You will be steadfast in your work of God and you will be loyal because you know whom you are serving. Number three thing that we saw about uh, the word of God is that it brings blessings in our lives. We saw it in Luke chapter 11 verses 28. Bible says, blessed are you who hears the word and you keep that word in your heart. It can bless your life. It can change your destiny. It can change even the way you perceive things. May we learn to tap from this word. This word has got treasure. It has what it takes for you to succeed in this life. Number four, we saw that this word can bring victory in your life. We saw it in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 17. The Bible says the word which is the sword of the spirit. It is an, a, a weapon that God has given to us. When you have that word, you can be able to confront even the arrows of the enemy, the weapons of the enemy. You can be able to stand like Jesus and say, it is written and it is written and you'll be able to cause the enemy to flee away from you. For the Bible says, resist him and he will flee away from you. One day it was a favor. Oh, hallelujah. Let us embrace this word. This word can benefit your life. And let us live by this word. For the word of God says, As you meditate on this word, you shall be like a tree that is planted by the riverside. 
shall bear your fruit in season and out of season. And the Bible says, whatever you stretch your hands to touch, it prospers to the glory and honor of your name. Stretch, your, stretch forth your hand and say, I am blessed. Say, I am blessed. For our God has blessed us with all the spiritual blessings that are in the heavenly places. Say, all the blessings belong to me. But I need to mature. I need to know the truth of the word. That I shall be able to live a prosperous life. It is not so to the wicked. So don't emulate the wicked. There is no destiny for the wicked. The destiny of the wicked is destruction. The destiny of those evil men is destruction. There is nothing good in that place. There is nothing good to, be emu to emulate. Just decide in your heart that I will be able to tow this way that the Lord has shown me. And for sure, you shall be able to enjoy life in this life and in the life to come, abundant life. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I know people who walked with God like Joseph. He never compromised. He stayed in, a, in godliness. And he lived a life that he never compromised. Yes, despite whatever challenges that he faced. Despite, despite the opposition in his family. Despite even the way he was sold out. And he became just a, a laborer somewhere. Despite the imprisonment that he encountered. God's presence was with Joseph. And we can be able to see what happened later on. After all those trials and temptations that he faced. The, the, Joseph was lifted. And he was made to be second in command. He was honored in the land of the wicked. I pray you child of God. You can stand out alone. Even in the midst of evil men. And God shall be able to cause you to be respected by the entire community of people who are evil doers. And you can be able to receive your promotion even in the midst of wickedness. I pray you, child of God, just tell God, count on me. I will stand firm and I will be loyal even in this wicked generation. Because we know we are in the end times. Bible says in these end times there will be a lot of wickedness. And the love of many shall be shall die. Can you imagine the love of God is just demeaning? And I have somehow seen during this era of COVID-19, the, the love of many has just gone down. And I pray that may that which is almost dying be revived so that we can be able to be on fire for God. It's good to be on fire for God. Because God does not want one lukewarmness. He says you are either cold. Or you are warm. You need not to be lukewarm. You need to be on fire for God. Keep the fire burning. Let the lamp keep burning. Because Jesus is coming back. Tell you never keep the fire burning. Because that is the responsibility of a priest. Keep the fire burning. Keep the fire burning. Let us not be lukewarm Christians. And keep on seeing the world just coming to overshadow us. I've always said no. I, I need not to stand out and say no to any form of cloud that is trying to cover us as a church. Let us arise and take our position. We have an answer to the dying wall. We have an answer to the perishing generation. Arise and take your position. Let us not compromise our faith. It is very expensive. It costs our Lord Jesus Christ to die on our behalf. He died on the cross on your behalf. We have, no, we have no time to compromise children of God. Let us take our position. I love these brothers in the Bible. Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. In the book of Daniel chapter 3. This is a story whereby these young Hebrew boys. They were, they were in Babylon. And they were, they, were, they, were, they, were, they were just standing for the Lord. They never compromised. They never worshipped idols in that land. But they were threatened and they were told, if you are not going to bow before this image, then you are going to be thrown into that fiery lake. But they were not threatened at all. They stood firm and told Nebuchadnezzar, see us very good. We have God who is able to deliver us. And even if he doesn't deliver us, we shall still keep on serving this God. We are not going to bow before idols. Just compromising. We know our God is alive. Even if he delivers us, even if he doesn't deliver us, we are not serving God because of what he is doing for us. We serve God because of who he is. He is Jehovah and he remains to be God forever and ever. 
We are not serving because he has given us things. We are not honoring him because he has given us whatever we have. We need to understand that God never changes. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And let us stand and be able to trust in him that he never fails. He is God and he remains to be God. And he knows what you are going through. He knows our situation. He knows even our future. He knows even those things that you have not encountered. He knows them. He knows them. He holds our future. He remains to be God. Let us trust in this God. Because many trust in chariots and horses. But as we trust in the name of the Lord. May the name of the Lord be praised forever. May his name be honored forever. May he remain to be our God forever. And may we make up our minds to declare we are not changing. We are made of our minds to follow this God. We are made of our minds to sacrifice because of this God. We are made of our minds to serve him until he comes. There is eternal life that we are looking for. And we can't afford to lose just because of things here and there. We cannot afford. We cannot afford to lose heaven. We cannot afford to lose eternal life. We cannot afford because of the, the, kind, of, uh, the kind of convincing things here on earth. Bible says we need to focus on where we are going. Don't concentrate on focusing on the earthly things. Colossians chapter 3 verses 2. Always focus unto eternity. Let your eyes be focused unto eternity. Let us learn from Jesus. He looked unto where he was going and he scorned the shame on the cross because he saw life ahead of him. Amen. Hallelujah. Problems here and there should not hinder us from walking with his God. Should not stop us until we sometimes strike and say we are not coming to church because of many challenges that we are facing. Even if we abstain, will we help anything at all? We need to walk with his God. We need to remember that it's God that we are serving. And he knows what we are going through. He knows what we, are, what we need in our lives. He knows what we need in our families. He knows what we need even for our children. Let us call on this God and tell him, Lord, may you never forsake us. May you never leave us, O oh God. Even if things don't work for good for us, we shall still serve you. Because you are our God and you remain to be our God forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm closing in the name of Jesus. I pray that in your daily life, may you set your focus. May you set your focus unto the goodness of the Lord. And keep your hope alive. Set your focus unto God. The goodness of the Lord. The faithfulness of our God. How God is a loyal God. Let us set our focus under that goodness. And let us keep our hope alive. Because Jesus is coming. And that we need to be among the number. Because the Bible says many are called. But few are chosen. Will you be among the number? Will you be among those who are chosen? The few of them. I pray children of God in Moranga. May we be among the chosen few. May we be among the chosen few. Meaning people, so many people in the church today. Probably most of them might not make it to heaven. Probably most of them. Because of compromise. Because of failing to be serious with God. Because of failing to honor this God. Because of failing to fulfill the purpose. As to why we are alive today. May the hand of God rest upon us. And always remind him. Hold my hand. And lead me on the way. Because as Jesus is leading you. Even if you go through the fall of the shadow of death. He will be with you. And his road will comfort you. And strengthen you. Even in times of tough times. But remember. These temporary afflictions that we are going through. It is not permanent. It is not compared with the glory that shall be revealed. Temporary affliction. It is not compared to that glory that shall be revealed to us. Let us keep on, keep on trusting in this God because he is faithful. May our good Lord bless you. May our good Lord continue binding us together in that God of love. May that good Lord continue seeing you through whatever drama in your life. 
I pray, I pray that may God see you through in that drama that you may be wondering how am I going to come out of this drama. There is God in heaven who knows and he can make a way where there seems to be no way. Finally, brethren, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power and know that God is concerned about your life. Shall we put our hands together as we receive Baba to come and wind up the meeting? Shall we appreciate? Appreciate, appreciate, appreciate. Amen, 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 amen. Amen. Let us appreciate the man of God, please. Can we please raise up our hand toward the man of God and to a man of God, thank you for the word. Amen. So what I would like us to do now is now to practice that word that we have heard today. That we need to be focused on the goodness of the Lord and have that godly conviction in our heart. And that one is going to help us to continue in this journey to heaven without compromising in any way in Jesus' name. Because there are so many things in this world which can, we can compromise to. But when we focus on goodness of God, when we have godly conviction, we are going to make it in Jesus' name. Amen. So there are those things that are there, but the Bible is very clear because it's saying, let us seek ye first the kingdom of God first, and all other things are all follow. So the problem we're having is that now we are seeking things instead of seeking God. And then there will be a confusion. We will not make it to Tayana to Kiangukaga. Mina to Frani Frani, Nemiokoka, Lakini, Nangukaga, the Kisi Mamaka. You do the court testimony. And since you come on my case, some says when I come here, Mina to Frani Frani, Nioka Mokahu, Lakini, Mina Mokris and Biguli, Lakini Mina Nangukaga. I think that's not, not a good testimony. Aye. Sasa ile kitu inakuanguka na kuangusha si uwasha naye. Ile kitu inatuanguka si uwasha naye. Hata kuna mwingine anasema kwamba mimi nimeokoka najua hapa duniani hakuna hakuna kitu kizito hakuna kitu. Kuna vitu. Eh? Yeah. Kuna vitu. Ile kitu iko niku nikuikata. Nikuikata. Hakuna kitu hapa duniani kaanza kunitoa. Kitu vitu ziko lakini sasa nikuikata ili isikuanguse au inianguse. Si ni kweli? Just open up your mouth and just have a good time with God before we finish and let us pray that God you help us to continue to be focused on him and even to focus on the goodness of God. Many things that God has done in our life, there are so many. Let us focus on those things. Let us continue to pray to God that God continue to convict us that we continue to be like Shedaka, Mishik, and Abednego who said, even if this God is not going to hurt me, but I am not ready to worship this God, this idol God. So when we are focused like Shedaka, Mishik, and Abednego, we are going to make it because we are focusing on God and not things which are there. Things are there in this, in this, in this uh, world. But let us focus on the conviction and the goodness of Jehovah God. In the name of Jesus. Come on, open up your mouth and continue telling God, Father, help me. Convict me more and more in your goodness. Dear Heavenly Father, convict me, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh yes, Shedra Kamishik and Abednego, they have seen the goodness of Jehovah. And that's why they declare whether this God is going to help them or not. They are not ready to focus on the dead. But because they knew that their God is going to help them. Let us continue focusing on our God. Let us continue focusing on His goodness. Let us continue focusing on the goodness of Jehovah in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ.
Thank you, Lord, because you have revealed great and mighty revelation of your word, which can help us to have a great cash through royalty. We don't take for granted, we appreciate, oh God, because of what we have learned this week, as of you, your servant, to reveal to us your secret to us. Because God, you say in your word that those who love you, things that they've never seen, things that they've never heard, you reveal to them. And Lord, we thank you for all what you've revealed to us this week. We appreciate God and we thank you, Lord, because we are not the same again in our life. Bless his ministry, his family, and continue lifting him up. That Jehovah God, your name will be glorified as he continue to be used of you, God, in many places in this nation and out of this nation. We bless him and his family and the ministry. In this prayer, we pray, believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Come on, I say, Amen. 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 Yes. We bless this man. 
Yeah, bring that kikabu up right up. Do you know why we are going to bless him? You know, we usually have lunch hour here. Every single from Monday to Friday, and we do take offering. Every single. What am I going to do? 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 From January, from Friday to what is it to the Kujagapa on a jaw? Natuna Saga January, back at December. Quanuna Sanga, even to Vatuna Fanya. Now, could I see Kumoja Yugo? I took one of provision. Soldier Nasamanga, Wakata Kuna project, project Kanzani. Mabaka in Kuagi Missouri, at Akuna Fro Missouri, like in Okasa to know to Nafania Kaz Kola Fana Kanzani, Kunakuana Fro. So that's that's telling us that when we serve God, Naya Mugretu, Atasugu, Atasukia by Sayet. Aya. So let so, us so, understand the word of God, the way it works. To Kikua, Na, Na Kusu, 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 Simple, simple that. That's a very simple, simple formula. That's a simple formula. It works. Amen. So I the offering. The blessing. Come on, bless. So thank you very much for coming. We thank God for you. Thank you for the way you have supported this work from Monday up to today. We have been giving every single day and we will continue giving because we are starting our lunch hour on Monday. At We are starting our meeting on Monday next week all the way to Friday and we'll be here. So you are very much welcome if you live in town, if you are here, you are very much welcome to our lunch hour from Monday, from next Monday, all the way to Friday. Amina, na tunasonga mpaka wakati wa election. Na pia wakati wa election, tuakua na semina ingine after election. So be ready. That we can continue mounting up. And when you mount up, soldier, when you mount up is when you get be able to get great catch. You cannot get without mounting. You mount up and get. Simple as that. Sisi nafanya. We are electing the fearful people. Eh? Fearing God. Fearing. 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 God fearing people. See, at the moment, when I campaign, I'm not going to be able to do anything. I'm not going to be able to do anything. I'm not going to be able so we are what I know about I know about May the grace of God be upon you. Amen. May the word that you have received continue to be parted in your spirit as you continue to get great courage by knowing the way of loyalty, loyal to God in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. And the grace, Lord Jesus Christ. and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen.